All right, today I want to give you a basic introduction to Camel, 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 how to read and understand the pricing graph, the sales rank graph, and maybe even how to count sales on a Camel, Camel, Camel graph. We are looking right now at the homepage of Camel, Camel, Camel. You can decide what Amazon platform to get your information from, from these other countries, but we're staying on Amazon.com. And on the website, you can just enter in keywords to find your item. I just got, went ahead and grabbed the ASIN. And we're going to look at a Camel 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 graph for the Seinfeld Seen It board game. Most of you know I like board games, and so let's take a look. All right. So for this board game, it comes up and it's showing you the third party new prices for the Seinfeld Seen It. Real quickly, you can see on the left side of the graph. There is the price range from zero up to $40. And then on the bottom of the graph, you can see the date range. Um, and this actually goes all the way back to August 13th of 2008. So Camel 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 has been tracking this item's prices for a very long time. You can see the prices go up and down a lot. You can change the date range from looking at all of the information to the last year, to the last six months, to the last three months, and the most recent month, just so you can get a better idea and get more clarity about how things are going dealing with the prices. So this is the price for third party new, is the blue line. If you ever see a green line, that is the Amazon price, and the red line is the used price. Now there's this little area of price type where you can choose what you want to see. Sometimes looking at a graph like this might be kind of confusing and you can't really read it that well. So you can choose to only look at certain prices and sellers. So I'm going to go back to all and get rid of third party new and third party used. Only looking at Amazon. Now you can see a, there's a solid line and there's a dotted line. The solid line means that that seller, this being Amazon, was in stock. The dotted line means they were out of stock. So anytime you look at a camel, camel, camel graph, see a dotted line, you know that they were out of stock for that time period. So it is also for third party new and third party used. You can see there is dotted lines when third party used had no sellers. So you can play around with this and be able to kind of see how prices react throughout time. You can even see right here, once December hit, prices started to go up with Q4 and then slowly go back down. And so you can even say, hey, if I'm sourcing this item in September, sure, I could probably ask $10 for it and sell it pretty quickly, but I could wait a few months and sell it for $32 potentially. So. It's always good to look in the past so that you can make decisions on what you think is going to happen in the future. So that's a basic understanding of the price graph. Let's take a look at the sales rank graph. All right, this is the sales rank graph for the last year. Lots of sales. And if this looks like a lie detector test, then you know, you're not alone. I've heard a lot of people say that whenever they look at a sales rank graph, it just looks like a lie detector test of someone who's lying a lot. So, but that's not what it is. It's counting the sales every time there's a sale, then the sales rank improves from a higher number to a lower number. So you can look on the left side of this of the graph. It's got the low number up top, followed by the high number toward the bottom. The dates are also on the bottom of the graph, so you can decide. Um, it shows you the highest uh, and lowest sales ranks at any point in time from the last year. So again, you can change it to look at the lifetime, the one year, the six month graph, three month graph, or the last month. Now, again, we can look at the last year and see this right here is during Q4 and there were more sales during this time. So quick little tip on how to possibly count sales. I like to go look at the one month and I can count sales. But camel, camel, camel goes in once a day to gather the sales rank information. So 
Anytime the number goes from a higher number to a lower number, you can consider that a sale. So you can possibly see that this is a sale right here, this is a sale right here, this is a sale right here, and you can go throughout that and try to count the number of sales that have occurred in the last month. So I'll do that real quickly. Um, I would say that this might be two sales because it's a longer number than normal. So this might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, maybe sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So maybe 36, maybe 37. It's not an accurate number, but it gives you a good idea of the number of sales for this item. And so you can use this information to try and guess how many sales you can expect in the future by guessing the amount of sales in the past. So that's a basic understanding of how to understand the pricing history and the sales rank history and even how to count sales from the past with Camel, Camel, Camel. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. You can scroll down, like this video, leave a comment or a question or find whatever links we talked about in this video in the description below. And as always, Come hang out with us, fulltimefba.com. If you subscribe, you get a couple of free PDF downloads to help your Amazon business become that much easier. And I'll help you turn part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon FBA. Hope you have a great day.